abusia ya be mama kwa ba sonko so aba pog media so me so se afi no waba so a o be like no wa subscribe na afi so atima share juma die no ama fo fro so nsa atumi aka ensam e ko so my kron kron ga na mo aye so ya de pini se bra ne bra no any political trending stories are a make you waves or my gana mono. Ye de bebreo. Na de ensem ene a koso wo political highway ni so. Eye NPP gurus na chese. Omo ebi tri eye afenyo ma kensa. O o. Chese chi omo e tri afenyo ma kensa ni mno. Enye asem kuma to the stand se. Omo a sake no efri. Eye omo meet na omo have in wo. Eye omo headquarters omo chese. So omo an fa omo nan ensi for ma. E ya dia eye afenyo markings obegu eye party no obegu npp party e san se ono ono ne selfish interest in kwana bribia ne ni die chiri o ye very very selfish a o man form we ne ensi form afenyo markings ebegu eye npp ama yoku no na ne o ma e kwoso o parliament me ntim ho ase me ntim ho ase nyina ni nyina ko fa ba nyina ye afenyo markings si se ye ye speaker of parliament eh 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 Se parliament enko break until further notice no ni nina ye afenyo markings ena ako fada ni yoma wei nina aba na ye ti yome mwena se ye emre shibi dem ya tu ma ebe si den empuntu ako so wama inu ma chese en semo ma ke kanchile afenyo markings no enye asimukuma en ti mencha okra nombe pesa bidya fobe mi yako ni yako ako ti diye kosu ni binansa na ebe kono me sho so wan se mkai biya ori be share your comment section wo like share ma afo fron su nsa enka jume di eni bi meda masi deserve to lead anybody. You are a fool. Now, look at this. You see this? I've been your marking. So, who share NPP for Ankasa Emrim as a political party? It states it clearly. The Ebema Obi Alpha 50 added the membership as an NPP member. The Ebema Obi Alpha 50 added the membership as an NPP member. If somebody does this in the NPP, on your NPP member. For feature of membership, where MPP for Omankasa Omo Constitution, one, a member of the party who stands as an independent candidate against the officially elected member of the party or who joins or declares his or her support for another political party or for an independent candidate when the party has sponsored a candidate in a general or by election automatically automatically forfeit his or her membership of the party you see so we are mpp need now one say who declare say one you stand as an independent candidate and not automatically on your mpp need bm say oko support obia sebio or running against the party no say publicly Automatically, who forfeit your membership as an MPP person? So, who crampon at the end of the day? Party in the baby, so party discussion, and you panel winning primaries. Now, who contest it? Automatically, you are not an MPP member. All the things they have listed here is what has played out. So, in the first place, have been vacated you no know? and i say they have vacated their seat you no know? even at party headquarters there are no more npp members cynthia morrison whoever are uh, and there nidia bim say and the onion no more npp member in parliament you no know? automatically it has applied even at the party headquarters cynthia morrison on your mpp knee sound conform and son of morrison on your mpp for so what are you defending in parliament because your own party has made the statement clear. The moment you declare, sir, Obeko independence, stand for a primaries, be chosen, and your name goes to the EC, and then you are basically signed off as an independent party, automatically, NPP headquarters does not recognize you as an MP. You don't need to write a letter to them.
You don't need to write a whole letter to NPP headquarters, mail it, put a stamp, and tell them your story. No. The moment that happens, because these things don't happen in a vacuum. It is public facts. Cynthia Morrison, Echo Contest is independent. It is public. The EC, that is a mandated body, supervised uh, the elections in Ghana. And some of them who went as independent or crossing carpet, they saw it. So they don't even need to write any letter. Automatically, they have said they are not part of the NPP. And as we speak, did the NPP for you in our parliament? No? Morrison and those three people or two people, they are not even NPP again. They are not. So what are you contesting in parliament? But Obibaka said, this is just party. We will deal with our party matter. But remember, party and this Cynthia Morrison about parliament. Party and the other people about parliament. So you cannot separate the party from the person in parliament. It is through the party. The party was the springboard and that springboard has been attached to them and the more parliament. So when you take the party away, they are not supposed to be in parliament. Actually, omo omo buy in the name say independent. Now, so you're independent. Now we declare say you are no more independent. Ah, that springboard name we're independent. You know, it takes that seat from you, because then our parliament as dying. Now, my mentor sure I could enter after your marking or Jimmy four. Why the NPP and the whole Ghana should blame NPP leadership, and especially after your marking why a government business are stopping. He is supposed to be blamed. Some people in Minyansa, they all need to turn around and say this fool needs to go. Because Afinyo Markin has put NPP in the place that they cannot come out. Right now, what is happening is not about the party. It is not about Edien. It is not about a, 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 a parliament. It is about Afinyo Markin, the personal interest. In Tiwanya Smart, some people for Manya Smarter. The personal interest in the Gumu party, you know, with Jimmy. It has become like he's been addicted to power. So he's fighting his own battle on Pen Mugwasia, on Peso Bekasia, time or your leader, and Moko position in power. He is just fighting a battle to redeem his selfish, Im his, his selfish image. It is not about protecting the party or protecting Ghanaians, it, it goes beyond that. Now, when you even read, look at, read, let's read this together. When you read the Constitution, it says this, Article 97 of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana outlines the tenure of office of, for member of parliament. Specifically, Article 97H provides, and I quote, if a member leaves the party of which he was a member at the time of his election to join another party or remains in parliament as an independent or under Article 97H, parliament as an independent or under Article 97H, if he was elected as an independent candidate and subsequently joins a political party, such an act will determine the tenure of that member of parliament. So when you read the article, the Constitution of Ghana, it states it clearly. The moment I with the party beba ah obey you we free party you know, automatically no sit in a court and when you read the constitution it does not give de timelines and can say so we in november so we in december so we in election day so we in two days to election so we in the first day in power it says the moment that is done you lose your seat so the period does not matter the date and day does not matter. So those people making arguments say, oh, Alban Bagbin, why at this time? No, so what, what time is the best time? Because the constitution you know, did not stipulate that if it is three months to election, if it is six months to election, if it is two days to election, the constitution says, as far as Obeya Sano, say, I got three days to election, cry, you, that seat is vacant. You have relieved that seat. You are no more a member of that party you rode on to come to parliament. So what is the conversation here? It is because Afinoma Kimuse NPP Fone Jimmy. He is just building his political career from this. He is just building his sad life. He's building his corrupt political life from this at the expense of a political party. Because you see. The things happen, and you could see clearly 
it is not even about the issues. It is about the the embarrassment he doesn't want to absorb. The embarrassment that he wasn't want he doesn't want to be associated with. It is that political ambition there when it's you know, into he's throwing the party under the bus. But um, so many MPP people know they have been their minds have been clouded by party. So they are not able to reason. If they are able to reason beyond the way they reason, Obeyu Sir Afinjo Makin is doing them more damage. Right now, government yet business has halted. Why is it affecting? It affects Ekufuado, Baumia, and the NPP. Does it affect the NDC? No. So, who is right now destroying this nation? It is Afinjo Makin and the NPP. You see, right now, no Afinjo Makin is a problem, no. For you to see, say, majority of NPP MPs are experience, leaving Afenyoma King to be fooling alone. No? You have to understand, say, they know the guy is a fool. They know the fight now, the guy is fighting. No? It's not about Ghana. It is not about the constitution. It is not about protecting anything. It is about protecting his ego. Because now, Julian. Abushia, it is Semna Mobi, and you could see now. Your brother Kevin, a call Bedu Taylor, editor as well. Oh, she say, a year marking that a year majority leader position now. Oh, she reno and on a chess or general one on Tia Sachess or preacher or parliament house. Oh, general one on Tia say, not just one of the constitution idea on Fahun Ghana say Ghana and Brat is saying Ghana and Brat is saying on Fahun on any day near the selfish interest. See a becas oh, a fenyon. And a year majority leader, and no, and a hano. And I say, and on a year and a dagene, I just say, a year and random mukushia, a woman of parliament, and a idea, a year speaker of parliament, a band babbing, a fair, a year out of forcing, and a or no, a fenyo markings, and a dom coche, nature matches on your moye day, a din como, na down como no mudiano, a fenyo marking barbantia, nature say, Waba, a din sama speaker, a catcher of money in a barber to ya. Ache se o jene afenyo makin so kwa a onti asye. Speaker of Parliament afre mo. Speaker yon se mwana mo ye leader sa mo di. E ye two political parties in enim. Eno afre mo de na kwa shene chemba. Eno ni mo di nko mo. Ato fwa se mba abo nti. Wa meka sa. Ye interview no se. Speaker na se o mo nko break. Na mbe pe mo no obe fwa mo. Simple as that. Ba afenyo makin zi o se da. En se mwa speaker na kachwa mo no. Na e da e. No o chile chile nse mo. Che se. And some a e course no, na a e near a Kevin Taylor out to two be a man left and right center and yet as in Kuma. And you may say, No, be me a co, near a cutty and bra, a year after your markings, and then some speaker of parliament, a catcher no, or the two done. They say, Sir, a year majority, a different in summer, sub you, you can't cut it. Now, general, no. He thinks he say, Yeah, just a majority, the freedom in some no, yeah, Jenny Bear, my freedom in some, so he has become useless. Even though he's working, but technically he's impotent. He's doing everything possible to get his potency back. That is what he's doing. He is not doing anything. Inti nimaku, afenyo makin, afenyo nimaku. He is not there for you. Inti sa usted in the sir. He is just fighting for his potency. He's not fighting for anybody. Now here there. Oh, sibia a year ato forcing, and I'm happy the way ato forcing has grown into. In this job of majority uh, 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 leader of the NDC in parliament, you could see Sir Ato Forsen, time of Obe taking over from Haruna Idris in Muntakano, he was very jittery. It's a huge, it's a huge responsibility. You could see some of his initial approaches or by you know, he was too, you know, things were erratic. He was too quick to respond to things, and that was obviously the little experience he didn't have. But you see, so as time went on, Ato Forsen has grown to understand. He has been so matured in his position. Now. That is how you see, say, so Osha NDC, now Osha MPP, even people who are saying, say, Harina Idrisu is angry. He has left his position. And he, you know, he is basically coordinating with those who had a little experience. So it's making him a better leader. It is what we say the NP NDC backbenchers and those behind at the who are se senior who were basically at a point got the position before him and the Omidia Mana also leading them, they are supporting him and Ato is willing to learn. So you could see there's coordination, there's maturity.
So at the first in the Kasakura, you could see, say, he's not talking out of head in selfishness. He is not actually fighting for himself. He's basically leading a team. And I like the way he has grown into this. It takes time. He learns fast, but he has submitted himself to Harunamu, to those behind Muntakamu, to the people who were there before him. He has learned that you need to at least humble yourself, respect those who have been there, have been there before, and then you understand the job. It won't say he has matured. But what about Afi Jomakin? Because we're Jimmy. He's not smart. He's not a team player. He's not willing to submit himself. He has always been about himself. In the South Stadia, you could see, said the maturity level, the way the NDC approached this matter. The way the NDC approached this matter, matter, it was so matured. You could see, even though at the end of the day, no, who loses more? The NPP loses more. At all forces in the NDC, at the end of the day, any other party in the and you're not passing taxes, they are just stepping in to save Ghanaians. Into who have your market now? Your government is still in place. You are more, you are supposed to be more matured. You are supposed to be more reasonable. Now, here, this is a two first thing. After Parliament, Alban Bagbin can say, Sebio Parliament, a eh, court indefinite suspend eh, 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 eh. at the right time. He communicate to Ghanaians and parliamentarians to meet. You know, at the first in PN, Munti, your kind. And you must describe your search. Um, you people, people who answer any question. Some of you, some of you, did. good afternoon. They threaten some of yes. the majority leader. Yes. We want to make something very clear. The NDC members of parliament are in the majority in Ghana's parliament. We've made we see ourselves as the majority. We are fortified by the constitution and the standing orders of this house and we see ourselves as the majority. We are grateful to the right honorable speaker for doing what is right and we respect his decision. We hope that the time will come that this house will be recalled and we take our position as the majority caucus. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is all. That is all. Because at the end of the day, when Speaker Bagbin came to parliament today, Whatever happened on Friday, he did not say anything has changed. When Speaker of Parliament today came to Parliament, he did not tell anybody in Parliament that NDC sitting on the right side is not their rightful place. So indirectly, the Speaker recognizes or still, still recognizes or still the decision he took on Friday, no, he has not rescinded. He still believes that the decision he took stands. Because if Alban Bagwin had an issue with the, state, the decision he took on Friday, and Corbyn, I was the NDC, where you are sitting is not your position, go back. But when he came, the right full owners of the right side were sitting there. He did not complain. And he did not speak, say, the decision I took on Friday, you know, I'm changing my mind. So as we speak, when you go into parliament, parliament is a place of record. And in the books, NDC is majority. Until the speaker comes out to say, you people move here. What I said, may free her for the records to show. When the speaker bar ever now why at address that issue, the speaker he is not saying say the decision he took, you know, he is changing his mind because in the system, in the records, the NDC are the majority. Because Parliament took a BBI record. In Tende, Uko Parliamentary Records, the Speaker of Parliament on Friday declared the NDC majority. And he, when he came today, he did not speak on that. So who can say the NDC is not majority? Now you saw the way Atto Forsen spoke. Brief, straight, said, this is our position. We respect the Speaker, his decision, and we stick to it. We wait for the Speaker to come to open Parliament. Simple as that. You should be matured in your statement. You are not supposed to go after the speaker because he's not your colleague. You are not supposed to go and insult the speaker because the speaker is older than you. You are not supposed to go and make it look like you are smarter than the speaker because he's smarter than you. He knows parliamentary proceedings than you. You are not supposed to come and disclose whatever you and the speaker spoke on behind the scenes with other leaders. No. Your job is to let Ghanaians know your stand and what your people believe in. Finished. Now listen to Afenyo Markin. 
the same Afenyo Makina, on also peer free the same parliament, you know, he went on radio, listen to him. So I still have Honorable Afenyo Makina on the line. Hello. Good All right, thank you for staying with me. And so you understand that today's matter is a subject of controversy. And we just want to get your reactions on what happened today. All right, so I wasn't on the floor. So um, let me first give you a background to it. Okay, so Mr. Speaker called for a pre-sitting meeting, which is uh, something that he normally does. So at the pre-sitting meeting, he called um, the leadership of both sides, the majority leader. He addressed me as such when we were at the pre-sitting, uh, addressed the NDC leader as minority leader. And he put three issues before us. Issue number one was that as a result of his uh, pronouncement last Thursday, uh, knowing also that there was an issue that I had filed at the Supreme Court, he is acknowledging to us that the Supreme Court has served, his, uh, served him with a ruling and that he's going to announce the ruling to the House when we sit. Second, he also informed us that as a result of that information he's going to give, there will be the need for us to engage as a House. And thirdly, he said that he is aware that our colleagues on the other side have taken our seat and that sitting, I, this one for emphasis, sitting in the chamber and arrangement there too mm. is not his responsibility, is that of the clerk to Parliament. I repeat, Mr. Speaker said he is aware of the sitting in Parliament, that is, our colleagues haven't taken our seat, but that is not his responsibility, that is the responsibility of the clerks. Abushia, into when in summer, a course, or a political highway in a such as a or more NPP party in Angasadi, you see the more ten against a year Afenoma Kinsa, or Mr. Udiebu Afenoma Kins, a Diebu, no man say ya, no more yes, a higher Afenoma Kins, a big party, no, a sunset, and Nimguasia, or Deba party, no muni, and no, and no ed in a papa, 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 and Nimguasia, no, and no ed in no amount na e man nimguasi no enye kese na already no na na do din kama mo agi enimguasi dada na afenyo markings enso de ne die ba abebo mu na afenyo markings obi ono or your selfish ono ne selfish interest in kwa die die obedi ene ye bebo ni din na afenyo e sei eno kwa na ope ba so man pun tu die on dwene wa tese o mo atutu bia ma na enye asem kuma nti abusu ya madam asese mo je peni mi kuti ensema e koso e wo political highway ni so aha AAPOG Media, Madam Asi.